Hello, everyone. My name is Adam. I'm a principal engineer at Elastic. And in this video, I will walk you through the concept of semantic re-ranking, and I will also show you how it works in action. Uh, for this, I will be using my uh, blog post as a reference, which is listed on the Elastic Search Labs site. So what is semantic re-ranking? It's a method for reordering a set of documents uh, based on their semantic closeness to an input query. Uh, this is typically done with a machine learning model that takes an array of documents or texts as an input, as well as a query or statement. And the output of this uh, model is the uh, same set of uh, documents, but reordered. Uh, this is called re-ranking. In a search context, this means that you have a large set of documents, let's say a million documents in an index. And first you run your search operation that fetches a subset of this. Um, it could be lexical search or vector search or hybrid. Uh, this is called first stage retrieval. And then you might want to do some more filtering or rescoring personalization on these results. But then you take the, a fraction of this uh, result set, let's say the top 100 documents, you send them to the re-ranker model. Uh, the re-ranker does its magic and sends back these documents uh, reordered. And that's what you respond to your clients with. Now, why is semantic re-ranking useful? If you're a developer of a web application that has a search bar and your customers can enter any freeform text into that search bar, you want to bring the most matching documents uh, in the first page of the hit list, regardless of how they phrased the query. Uh, semantic re-ranking can help here, uh, but it's even more useful in a reg or retrieval augmented generation context where the search results are fed into an LLM system. Uh, and typically the, the LLM only takes the top or the top few uh, entries to generate an answer. So it's pretty important to get it right to make sure that the, the most relevant results bubble up to the top. Next, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, re-ranking in action just as a standalone process for now. So uh, I'm gonna be using Cohere for this. And uh, Cohere is an AI platform that has uh, many different models, including a re-ranker. Um, in order to use it, I have to create uh, an account that I already did, but you can create a free account. It's very easy. Uh, then I go to the API key section and uh, I create an API key. Let's call it re-rank key. Next. I head over to the Dev Console in Elasticsearch and I create an inference endpoint. Uh, so my inference endpoint it has the re-rank task type. Uh, I give it a name and I specify that this is a Cohere integration and I paste the API key that I just created in Cohere. So now the inference endpoint exists and, and I can start using it. Uh, and let's see how it works. So um, this is a, a re-ranking request uh, that uses this inference endpoint. And uh, the query is, what is the capital of the USA? And I have an input of six documents, six uh, pieces of text that all relate to capital in general. So there, is, uh, uh, there are state capitals. Uh, there is one about the capital punishment. And yeah, surely enough, there is uh, Washington DC, which is the right answer but it's it's not really on not really the first document so so let's see what the re-ranking request does with this so what came back is an array of objects that all relate to the uh, original input documents uh, let's read this so the the first document has an index of three this means that uh, it's the fourth document because we're using zero-based indexing. So the fourth document uh, in the input uh, is the topmost one, is the most matching one with a 99.8% match. So this is very likely the, the right answer. Uh, and then the rest of the documents follow, uh, but with a lower relevance score. 
So this is how re-ranking works as a standalone operation. But let's see if we can hook it up uh, to the search workflow. So for that, we are going to create an index called articles and populate it with uh, the same pieces of text that we have seen in the previous uh, step. So uh, uh, the index is created. And let's do a classic lexical search uh, matching on the text, what is the capital of the USA. And sure enough, uh, I receive all the all the uh, documents. Uh, they all come back because all of them have capital in the text. But semantically, this is not really accurate. Like I was curious about the capital of the USA. So the question is, can we improve our search results? Uh, can we apply the re-ranking operation on top of the hits? Uh, and the answer is yes. We need to use a, a relatively new kind of query called a retriever query. Looking at the anatomy of our retriever query, I first uh, specify that this is a text similarity ranker, so it will apply semantic re-ranking. Uh, but first, it needs to get the, the documents that it will apply the re-ranking on. So this is where the inner retriever comes into play, uh, which is a standard retriever. Uh, that runs the exact same query that I just ran a minute ago. Uh, remember, this is the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, this will do a lexical match on the text, what is the capital of the USA. So we expect the first stage retrieval to, to bring up uh, the exact same results as uh, before. However, uh, I will apply re-ranking on top of it. So. Uh, the rest of the configuration is for the re-ranker. Uh, I specify that uh, the field that holds the input to the re-ranker model is in the text field. So here in, the, in these documents, in the text field of the documents, uh, I'm going to be using the inference endpoint that I created. Uh, and the query, uh, which is the, the other input of the inference model, uh, is what is the capital of the USA. And I want to look only for the first 50 documents. This is the rank window size. Uh, we have six documents, so this uh, doesn't really matter now, but, uh, but this is how you can control um, the scope of the re-ranking. Okay, let's see what this uh, brings back. So as you can see, uh, the same documents came back, but they have been re-ranked. So uh, the first one, the topmost one, is the one that uh, is about Washington, D.C., which is the correct answer to our, our question. And it has a score of 0.998. And if I wanted to discard the, the less relevant results, uh, I can specify a cutoff score uh, in the query, saying mean score uh, should be 0 0.6, and uh, everything below this score will be discarded. So uh, only the right answer will remain on top. So I hope you liked the demo. As we have seen, semantic re-ranking is a powerful tool for improving search performance out of the box. Uh, you can apply it on top of an existing search solution uh, and combine it with various strategies such as lexical search or vector search. I encourage you to give it a try. Uh, you can find uh, various resources, including uh, an interactive notebook on the Search Lab site. Happy re-ranking.